All right, rig three, two, and one. Well, first off, what kind of privilege is there to uh, play in a game like this in front of your home fans? I mean, I think it's going to be rocking out there tonight. I can't wait. You know, I know uh, we've got a lot of good energy around the room. So, um, obviously, off of after last game, that OT win, you just saw what the building was like. And I think we're expecting more of the same tonight. So, we're excited to get after it. And when you hear a teammate like Gordo say that the fourth one is usually the hardest to win, what have you learned as far as the commitment level to get that fourth win? Yeah, I mean, we got to expect their best we got to expect to be the hardest game of the series I think you know teams play a little more desperation in the corners and off of draws and I think you know we just have to be ready for that I think it's going to be a good experience for us as a group and it's going to be uh, you know we got to take we got to take advantage of this you know when you see guys uh, getting into shot lanes uh, you know Tolvi lane hits as well uh, turbo as well uh, what does that do for the energy on the bench or for a, a season like this and a time like this I mean, you feed off of that, right? As a team, I think when you see guys putting their bodies in the line, um, it just makes you want to go that much harder. And those are the plays that don't really get, you know, they don't get the highlight reels and whatnot. But on the bench, I think those are some of the loudest cheers when guys get in, in blocks, and especially in the last few minutes. I think, like you said, you know, guys like Tolby and Schwartz, he had a big block last game, and Gordo. I mean, those guys, I, I think you really feed off of that, and it's uh, special to us for sure. What have you learned uh, through five games as far as what to expect from Colorado? Um, you know, they're they're got a lot of speed. You know, they can do a lot off the rush, off of draws, and you know they're obviously very gifted offensively. And um, I think we just gotta more or less focus on what we gotta do. You know, our depth is our strength, I think. And you know, we have four lines, three pairs that can play against their top guys. So we just gotta you know focus in on that. Jamie, it kind of seems like um it's a good question I mean uh, just speaking for myself I think you know you kind of identify moments you identify what the momentum's like I think momentum in playoffs is huge I mean you see the games teams coming back off after deficits and whatnot so um yeah I think it comes with experience kind of you know identifying when you have to have a big shift big bump up shift and um <clears throat> I think we've done a good job of that overall especially you know the game there where they came back and, and you know we won in uh, an OT right I think that was a big big experience for us so I mean you talk about experience he's obviously kind of um, very comfortable in any situation <clears throat> and like you said he's been big for us and again a guy that can identify those big moments when we kind of need a push and um, it's definitely been huge for us, absolutely. Jamie, what's it like having a two-minute, 27-second shift to, to close out a win like that? Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will stop looking at the clock, you know what I mean? You're just, you know, following the puck and making sure that you do whatever you can to, to make sure it doesn't go in. So, yeah, I mean, you're feeding, you're playing off of adrenaline at that point, right? I don't, I definitely don't want to do that all the time, but when you got to do it, you got to do it, right? Again, I mean that's playoffs, right? That's kind of the desperation and the you know you got to get bounces once in a while and got to put yourself on the line. And I think we've done a great job for that. I mean, you know, you got guys that maybe typically you wouldn't see or associate with you know making those big blocks. You know, they're more like highlight real goal guys. But I think when whenever you see a guy go down and put their body on the line, it's special for everybody. Everyone feeds off of that, right? Jamie, you told me last week that there's a lot of ups and downs in the playoffs, especially a longer run. Uh, team's not going to go 16 and 0. And that's a big key. How do you think the team has done managing those ups and downs? Yeah, this series? I think I think we've done a really good job. Like I said, I think. Um, Obviously, it's our first time in playoffs together, so I think we've, we've learned a lot as a group in identifying uh, those momentum swings and, and, like I said, you know, being able to manage it when, you know, they get a couple goals and being able to kind of make sure on the next shift that we come out hard and, and kind of, um, you know, play at our place, pace and, and don't let them, you know, continue the push. So, um, you know, tonight, again, is going to be a huge test for us because, you know, there, there are seasons on the line and, that's always when they play a little bit harder, so I think we got to be ready for that. Right? You've occasionally been paired with Adam Larson uh, during the series. Has that worked pretty well when you guys have been together? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, Lars is just a easy guy to play with. He's really easy to read off of, and, um, you know, he's great defensively. He can move the puck, and he can walk the line really well offensively. So, um, yeah, he makes your job easy as a partner, and I think um, he's done a great job this series. 
how impressed were you with the contributions Ty has coming up into the lineup first game and seemingly not looking out of place in a game as big as it was? I mean, you know, score your score your first goal in playoffs like that and a huge goal. I mean, uh, have his family there. I'm sure it was a huge moment for him and it was a great moment for us too. And it's kind of funny before the game, we're like, this kid's going to score. We, you know, we know it because it's just kind of those situations. You know, you kind of come into the game and the moment's so big and you just got to be like, okay, embrace it and not overthink things and, and just kind of let the game come to you. And he did a great job of that. And, you know, he's uh, obviously had some success there. So.